Hello YouTube, I want to make a quick video about the laptop that I just got, which is a um, Glow X13. And this video is purely about the VR capabilities of this laptop, which is, uh, like we would say, what? Like, why would a small thing like that, 13 inch, have any VR capabilities? Like, what is there to talk about? But it actually can do VR. Um, there's plenty of people on the internet saying, oh, you know, Oculus doesn't let you install it on the 3050 Ti RTX. But um, uh, if you want to go like with Vive, you can actually do it. I tried with a virtual desktop yesterday and I couldn't succeed, but that doesn't say that it's impossible. I'm just like, it's just that I couldn't make it work. Uh, but in Steam, it uh, it simply does work. So um, I'm going to test two games, uh, my own game, which is uh, not that very special, but uh, it, it works. Uh, and then... Uh, and then we're gonna test Half-Life Alex to see if it launches, um, which it does. Just so there is no there is no need to keep you in a suspense. It it, it does. So you can see the, it launches in a, in a Steam VR. Uh, I have a HDMI port connected here. That's HDMI port. I have um, the USB-C connected to a splitter that goes to a second monitor, and then another splitter that goes into keyboard, mouse, and. Uh, um, and the camera uh, so yeah it's a capable little workstation um, and there is another USB-C there but I'm charging with the, the laptop currently when I first I trailed it I, I, I plugged it in and I trailed it in VR and it worked like you know like this so not really exactly special but it did um, uh, and then I realized that I didn't switch on the power Funny enough, so uh, it, it should have a slightly better performance, but yeah, it can even run from the battery itself, which my previous laptops, uh, which I have quite a few, you know, honestly doing VR for the business, never did. I mean, this is not going to be doing VR for customers, let's be honest, this is not that kind of thing, but if you want to test the game, you want to see how the game looks like, just see if it's child friendly or... You know, like if you can use it in a commercial settings, that this is good enough. You know, like it 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 does the job. So um, you can see up here, you have your standard Steam. You know, location. It does work. Obviously, this is a basic Vive, so uh, you know, like the resolution is not all that massive. If you have Index or Pro, or God forbid, anything like a river but then, then no don't take that don't buy this laptop for that but um just if you want to try a vr you know like and test the game in vr and you're just curious if if the 3050 ti can render vr or even start it does it actually does so uh i'm gonna hit play and for a brief second you almost think that it's gonna work brilliantly and then uh and then you're back to back to our game you know like uh Yes, so the game is all about it's like a Tetris. You can play Tetris with co-op mode and such. Um, and I could probably eke out a few more FPS if I would uh, switch off the additional monitor. Uh, I tried it before, it didn't really make much of a difference, but uh, just so you know, it works. We're just gonna kill it. Let it uh, let, oh, let look at that all beautiful green stuff that's here, and it's there when you are in a when you are in the environment which is just you know like the, the sort of horizon environment and then when you into your own home it starts rendering the house it, it goes back to uh you know slightly worse off um just a couple of things about the laptop itself the settings um you can go in armory crate and you can choose turbo to do give him some extra cooling um so it will start getting louder and a few extra megahertz on the on the gpu um, like you know extra five percent but you know does the job um, and yeah let's let's check if the half-life alex works you know it does it's not looking pretty <laughs> but you can actually play it uh, and you can play it from that uh, tiny little 13 inch thing which is just just unbelievable and and this is a convertible it's a touch screen it's a convertible and it has a pen like if you own a business and you want people to sign things or you know want to you know like have a reviews with your stuff you're going like this fits lovely on a table in a train and you can play you can work on it also on a plane on those 
you know, squiddly little horrible tables there because it's so small and you can make it a tablet. It's, um, yeah, look, that's a Half-Life Alyx. I mean, how does this thing, yeah, obviously, this is, <laughs> this is not impressive, but it does render and you can, you can go in a headset and you can actually see things, you know, and you can play the game. <laughs> You're not gonna be the most impressed with the game, but it works, you know. So, um, so yeah, this is a very quickly telling you that you can run, um, you know, VR through the massive, uh, sp yeah, massively small, which is a stupid way of saying it, um, very small uh, laptop that's really also a tablet. So, extremely impressive, extremely impressive. Asus, you made the the smallest convertible that is also in some way VR capable. Don't use it for VR unless you're just like in a situation like I do that I just need to plug in the headset, see what the game looks like or you know like. Windows Mixed Reality one actually was running really smooth comparing to Steam Home. Um, I tested it on the Windows Mixed Reality headset yesterday and it you know like when you're in this original WMR uh, you know, like house or whatever it is, like really fancy house with no walls. Whatever you can call it, a house or not, it's a different matter in that case. But uh, yeah, it, it, you can teleport and and there is no stuttering. Um, it honestly doesn't feel as bad in a headset as it does look when you look at all this red uh, on a Steam VR tracking. But uh, yeah, this this little thing does really well. So um, you can you can play Five Love Alex on it. You can connect three monitors to it, like two monitors plus whatever you have here. Uh, or you can connect three monitors because you have HDMI if you disconnect your headset. And then you have uh, those, this amazing splitter. I, I didn't yet test it, but there is another USB-C here. And I can... Well, I don't think it will work. But, uh, you know, what if I plug in another extension like this and then plug in another two monitors? What happens then? The world might just collapse. But, uh, yes, super small, really lovely, small, fits everywhere. You can even play VR on a battery, not not amazingly, but you can. So impressive, impressive little thing, that's for sure. Yep, that's all I read. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope it helped you make a decision on buying it, because I could not find anything at all about, you know, VR capabilities of that thing. After all, it's RTX 3050, you know, like we are two generations up from like three generations up. I've been running VR on 1980s, so on RX 480s. I used to run VR so you know like this should be capable of doing it in theory but this being laptop it has to be checked so no one really say uh, when you buy the thing it says VR ready mm, that's a bit of a stretch but it can generate VR and it will start Steam VR and it will start Windows Mixed Reality it didn't want to start on Oculus and it didn't want to start uh, on a virtual desktop so Someone else might get it to work. I'm pretty sure someone will because I think this is not a hardware related issue This is just purely software blockage Um, another thing that is also frustrating with those laptops and uh, you know Like whenever you want to uh, test in VR performance it does test it. It comes up with a score of nine and a half thousand The trouble is it always tells you that it's actually testing the onboard GPU Which is built with Ryzen 9 instead of the graphic card. I don't think it actually does that. I think it does it through the NVIDIA, but uh, but yeah, that's what it tells you on the, on the, on the, on a test on a Steam VR performance test. So it's interesting. Might be might be that it does not run it through the RTX, and that's why it's only nine and a half thousand. So uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Hope it helped you a little bit. It wasn't too confusing. It probably was, but uh, yeah, that's that's about the little tablet laptop thing that runs VR. Amazing.